Elijah's return to earth occurred at the first temple built in this dispensation, where he and other heavenly messengers under direct direction of the Lord entrusted special keys of priesthood authority to the restored Church. Moses committed the keys of the gathering of Israel. Elias committed the keys of the dispensation of the gospel of Abraham. And Elijah came to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the children to their fathers. With that, natural affection between generations began to be enriched. This restoration was accompanied by what is sometimes called the spirit of Elijah, a manifestation of the Holy Ghost bearing witness of the divine nature of the family. Hence, people throughout the world, regardless of religious affiliation, are gathering records of deceased relatives at an ever-increasing rate. <clears throat> Elijah came not only to stimulate research for ancestors, he also enabled families to be eternally linked beyond the bounds of mortality. Indeed, the opportunity for families to be sealed forever is the real reason for our research. The Lord declared through the prophet Joseph Smith, these are principles in relation to the dead and the living that cannot be lightly passed over as pertaining to our salvation, for their salvation is necessary and essential to our salvation. They without us cannot be made perfect, neither can we without our dead be made perfect. <clears throat> 